Hey guys. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. As you all know that we are discussing branches of civil engineering. And today our topic is material engineering. That is branch of civil engineering. So move toward our today's topic what is material engineering? First of all we discuss introduction. Engineering material plays an important role in the construction and manufacturing of equipment's tools. Selection of material to the economy working and the life of machinery. An engineer must be conversant awarded with the properties, uses, availability and the cost of material used for the construction fabrication to enable him to perform his function confidently. The subject of engineering material has been designed to overcome the above aspects. The range of engineering material varies from lightweight to heavy materials. For example alloys for aircraft, semiconductor chips for PC, photovoltaic for energy storage, semiconductor, semiconductor scanners. Now move toward definition. Engineering material is a subject which deals with the manufacturing, properties and uses of material used in applied engineering. Now move toward classifications of engineering materials on the basis of atomic bonding forces. And we define step by step all these classification. Now move toward metallic materials. Materials that are like metal, having the properties of metal, containing or consisting of metal. 26 metals and metallic materials. Includes physical, chemical, and mechanical properties of metals and metallic materials, and metallurgy. Now move toward definition of ferrous metal. A metal with the descriptor ferrous means that it has iron in its composition. When the term ferrous metal is used, it also usually implies that iron is a large percentage of the elemental composition. Now move toward definition of iron. A strong, hard magnetic silvery gray metal, the chemical element of atomic number 26, much used as a material for construction and manufacturing, especially in the form of steel. Now move toward definition of stainless steel. An alloy of steel with chromium and sometimes another element, such as nickel or molybdenum, that is practically immune to rusting and ordinary corrosion. Now move toward definition of carbon steel. Carbon steel or plain carbon steel, is a metal alloy. It is a combination of two elements, iron and carbon. Other elements are present in quantities too small to affect its properties. The only other elements allowed in plain carbon steel are manganese, 1.65% max, silicon, 0.60% max, and copper, 0.60% max. Now move toward definition of steel. A hard, strong gray or bluish gray alloy of iron with carbon and usually other elements, used as a structural and fabricating material. Now move toward definition of non-ferrous metals. In metallurgy, a non-ferrous metal is a metal, including alloys, that does not contain iron, ferrite, in appreciable amounts. Important non-ferrous metals include aluminum, copper, lead, nickel, tin, titanium and zinc, and alloys such as brass. Now move toward definition of aluminum. Aluminum is a chemical element with the symbol Al and atomic number 13. It is a silvery white, soft non-magnetic and ductile metal in the boron group. Aluminum is remarkable for its low density and its ability to resist corrosion through the phenomenon of passivation. Now move toward definition of copper. Copper is a chemical element with the symbol Cu and atomic number 29. It is a soft, malleable and ductile metal with very high thermal and electrical conductivity. Now move toward definition of titanium. Titanium is a chemical element with the symbol T and atomic number 22. It is a lustrous transition metal with a silver color, low density and high strength. Now move toward definition of tungsten. Tungsten, or wolfram, is a chemical element with the symbol W and atomic number 74. Tungsten is a rare metal found naturally on Earth almost exclusively combined with other elements in chemical compounds rather than alone. Now move toward definition of zinc. Zinc is a chemical element with the symbol Zn and atomic number 30. It is a bluish-white metal which is used to make other metals such as brass, or to cover other metals such as iron, to stop a brown substance called rust from forming. Now move toward non-metallic materials, composite, ceramic, polymeric, electronics. Now move toward definition of non-metallic materials. Non-metallic materials non-metals are organic substances that do not conduct heat or electricity and are structurally brittle, cannot be easily rolled, molded, extruded or pressed. Chemically, the non-metallic elements in the periodic table are hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur, and selenium. Now move toward definition of composite. A composite material is a combination of two materials with different physical and chemical properties. When they are combined they create a material which is specialized to do a certain job, for instance to become stronger, lighter or resistant to electricity. They can also improve strength and stiffness. Now move toward definition of ceramic. A ceramic is an inorganic non-metallic solid made up of either metal or non-metal compounds that have been shaped and then hardened by heating to high temperatures. Now move toward definition of polymeric. 
a chemical compound or mixture of compounds formed by polymerization and consisting essentially of repeating structural units. Now move toward properties of materials. Now we discuss definition of mechanical properties. Young's modulus. Young's modulus, or the Young modulus, is a mechanical property that measures the stiffness of a solid material. It defines the relationship between stress, force per unit area, and strain, proportional deformation, in a material in the linear elasticity regime of a uniaxial deformation. Now we discuss definition of tensile stress. When the material is under tension, it is known as tensile. The forces that are acting along the axis of force are responsible for the stretching of the material. The external force per unit area of the material resulting in the stretch of the material is known as tensile stress. Now we discuss definition of shear stress. A form of stress that subjects an object to which force is applied to skew, tending to cause shear strain. For example, shear stress on a block of wood would arise by fixing one end and applying force to this other, this would tend to change the block's shape from a rectangle to a parallelogram. Now we discuss definition of hardness. Hardness is a measure of the resistance to localized plastic deformation, induced by either mechanical indentation or abrasion. Now we discuss definition of toughness. In materials science and metallurgy, toughness is the ability of a material to absorb energy and plastically deform without fracturing. It is also defined as a material's resistance to fracture when stressed. Now we discuss definitions of physical properties. Conductance. The degree to which an object conducts electricity, calculated as the ratio of the current which flows to the potential difference present. This is the reciprocal of the resistance and is measured in Siemens or Mohs. Now we discuss definition of magnetic properties. Magnetic properties describe the behavior of any substance under the influence of a magnetic field. There are two main effects and phenomena. Induced magnetization results when a magnetic field is applied to a material with a magnetic susceptibility. Now we discuss definition of optical properties. The optical properties of a material define how it interacts with light. The optical properties of matter are studied in optical physics, a subfield of optics. The optical properties of matter include refraction and the material's refraction index. Now we discuss definitions of chemical properties. Corrosion. Corrosion is a natural process that converts a refined metal into a more chemically stable form, such as oxide, hydroxide, or sulfide. It is the gradual destruction of materials, usually a metal, by chemical and or electrochemical reaction with their environment. Now we discuss definition of oxidation. Oxidation is the loss of electrons during a reaction by a molecule, atom or ion. Oxidation occurs when the oxidation state of a molecule, atom or ion is increased. The opposite process is called reduction, which occurs when there is a gain of electrons or the oxidation state of an atom, molecule, or ion decreases. Now we discuss definition of reduction. Reduction involves a half-reaction in which a chemical species decreases its oxidation number, usually by gaining electrons. The other half of the reaction involves oxidation, in which electrons are lost. Now we discuss definition of catalysis. The process of making a chemical reaction happen more quickly by using a catalyst. If you like our today's video, like, comment and share our today's video and subscribe our channel, Civil Engineering Guru. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.